Hi, I'm Deborah from Fish Museum and Circus, and today we're going to make these really sweet ice cream sundae pin cushions. So let's get started. Here's what we're going to need to make our ice cream sundae pin cushions. The first thing is going to be a wooden bowl, and these come unfinished, but you can do whatever you would like to make them um, colorful or more interesting, however you would like to, to do with them. I have painted these with uh, basic acrylic paint and uh, in just a, a, a number of different designs to kind of reminiscent of vintage bowls. Then you're going to need some felted wool. Felted wool is actually a woven wool that is then felted through heat and moisture to make it a little bit more dense. And what's great about this felted wool is that it has a stretch that regular felt does not tend to have as much. And you can stretch this a little bit on the bias, and that's what's gonna make it really nice for the ice cream part of the pin cushion. Then we need something to stuff the pin cushions. And this is actually a wool stuffing. You can use um, polyester or whatever you would like to, to stuff your pin cushion with. And so those are the basics of what you're going to need. Other things may include uh, this really nice felt, which you can use for your hot fudge. Um, this is wool roving, which is just a, a finer grade of wool than, than the wool stuffing. This can be used for the whipped cream on the top. Um, there is also these really nice little felt balls, which are great if you want to put a cherry, depending on what kind of ice cream you have. I have this wool embroidery floss that I use to make these little chocolate chips on the mint chocolate chip. There is this silk ribbon, which I used for the strawberries in the strawberry ice cream. And then there are these wonderful little uh, bugle beads that I used for the sprinkles. So depending on what kind of embellishments you want, uh, you will need those materials also. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the ice cream. And the felted wool comes in a five inch square. We're going to fold it in half. And then we're gonna fold it in half again so that it's a smaller square. And you need to take a sharp pair of scissors and on the open corners from here to here, this is the folded corner. So on the open corners, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut an arc. And we're gonna start down here and slowly go over to this other corner. And that way we get basically a circle. Then you want a needle and thread. And what I like to do for this is use a strong thread, like an upholstery thread. And you will see that when we start to stuff it, there's gonna be a certain amount of um, tension on the thread. And so we wanna make sure that it uh, doesn't break. So a really good uh, upholstery thread, or something a little bit thicker uh, is really a good thing to have. And we're gonna start about an eighth of an inch from the side and make eighth inch stitches. Doesn't have to be exact. We're just going to work our way around the circle, the edge of the circle. So now that we are all the way around the circle with our little running stitch. We're going to pull the thread and you can see that there is a lot of tension on this thread. So that is why we need something strong like the upholstery thread. And we're going to pull it so that it's nice and taut here. And you can see you're not going to get a closed up form. There is going to be a hole there and that is what we need to be able to stuff it. But you do want it to be pretty taut the thread and the hole not too big. 
So what I'm going to do is hold it and then I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to use the wool stuffing and I'm going to use this fantastic stuffing tool. So let's make this one a strawberry with chocolate chips. I want to show you how to make the colonial knots that I used on the mint chocolate chip. So here I have the wool embroidery floss that I've doubled. And I'm going to start underneath the ice cream where it's going to be in the bowl so that you don't actually see the knot. And then I'm going to come up in an area that will be above where the bowl is. So the thread is now coming out of the felted wool and I'm going to make a loop like this to the right and then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to put it over the bottom thread and under the top thread of the loop just like this. And then I'm going to pull this and bring it back over the needle and then put the needle into the wool and then back up to where the next one is. And I'm gonna do that multiple times. Okay, so let's do it again. I'm, I have my little loop over the bottom, under the top and wrap the thread around the needle. Then I'm going to put the needle right near where I came out and then come back up again for the next knot and then pull this through. So now we have all the chocolate chips here on the strawberry ice cream. It is the same way that I did the chocolate chips on the mint ice cream using the colonial knot. For the strawberry ice cream with the strawberries, I just used the silk ribbon just to make simple uh, basic stitches, just seed stitches, which are basically just like one little stitch. Now we're going to make the hot fudge. What I'm going to do is cut about a two inch square from the felt somewhere around there so that I have a smaller piece to work with. I don't have a pattern for the hot fudge because every hot fudge is going to be a little bit different and all you need is a very kind of wavy drippy look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my scissors and I'm moving the felt as I cut and not the scissors. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and make these kind of drips. So you can either start with the knot at the bottom like we did with the chocolate chips or I'm going to just go underneath the hot fudge and just come up right on the edge of the felt there. And then I'm going to go straight out into the ice cream part and then up at an angle. and then go straight down again into the ice cream part, back up 
into the hot fudge and then straight down into the ice cream. And I'm just going to make these little stitches all the way around. For the whipped cream, we are going to use the roving and it's best to actually pull the roving apart rather than cut it. So you get these nice soft ends. I'm going to pull off some longer pieces like this. And depending on how much whipped cream you want, a piece like this should work fine. And I'm twisting it. And then what I'm going to do is kind of make a loose knot at the end like this. And what that's going to be is kind of like the inside. Give us a base to wrap the rest of the whipped cream around. Because the roving is so loose in construction, we're going to have to be kind of loose in our stitches. If you make them too tight, they're just going to kind of pull through. So I'm just putting the knot at the bottom and being careful not to pull the knot through and taking a couple of securing stitches. And now that I'm at the top, I'm going to put on my cherry and all that's going to do is take a few stitches right in the top of the whipped cream and in the bottom of the cherry. And I'm going to go back down through the whipped cream and we're going to secure this right on top of the ice cream. So now I'm at the bottom and I'm going to kind of just take a little bit of it and go through the hot fudge. Take a little bit more. <laughs> This Aileen's Tacky Glue is great. It has this nice little applicator that where you can get the glue right where you want it. I'm going to put a little row right around just inside the edge and then a little bit around the bottom. Give this a little bit of a shaping. And here it is, the ice cream sundae pincushion.